just biked to my local park and now I'm just walking this trail that is so beautiful. Look at it. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what I'm doing this summer. So in a little over a week, I'll be going to Pennsylvania to go to a resort that I go to every year with my family. And it's so fun there. It's like this little rundown camp and we stay in cabins. It's really cute. And then as soon as I get back on Friday, I'm starting my teacher training to become a yoga instructor. And I'm really excited about that because that's been a really big goal for me. So that is going to be every weekday from 10 to 2. And it's a lot of work. I'll have a lot of homework and practicing. It'll be a lot of yoga and I'm excited to do that because then I can give you guys some really good advice because I'll have actual training under my belt. Um, aside from that, I also have two big summer projects for school because I'm in two AP classes that require summer projects and I have to read like um, like three or four books, I'm not sure, and write a lot of essays and do questions, whatnot. So this summer will be a big test for time management, which will be a good life lesson for school and life in general. So looking at it in a positive light. And also I just I, this year I made so many friends that are lifelong. They're such genuine true friends. I'm really happy they came into my life and I really want to spend a lot of time with them this summer. So we'll be going to the beach and going on hikes and doing all sorts of things that I'm really excited for. It's going to be a really awesome summer and really my goal, I just want to make the most of my summer and spend time with the people I love and do things I love like yoga and exercising, like biking and running and going on hikes like this. I really just want to make this a summer to remember and fill it with as many good things as possible because summers in the past I always I don't know, I always get really excited for summer and then it actually comes and I sit at home doing nothing all day. So this summer I definitely want to change that and set a new slate for summers to come in the future. shopping and I'm going to show you all the fruit that I got. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay so on the bottom shelf I bought a box of oranges and these were five mangoes for $1.99. So we bought two of them. It was just four dollars for ten mangoes. And then we got some strawberries, two papayas, two baby watermelon and one big watermelon. And then this is my huge shelf of bananas, <laughs> since I go through like 10 bananas a day. And then on my top shelf, I have um, avocados. There were five avocados for $2, and then more avocados that really aren't ripe. And then cherries again, we got this huge thing for $2, and then we got two boxes of mangoes. So that's all the fruit I got, and we keep it in the garage so that, um, Fruit flies don't like swarm in the house. I'm about to go for a quick run and then I have to play in my school's orchestra for their graduation. And after that, I'm probably gonna hang out with my friends. Bye. Oh, the it's a butt. <laughs>